Question from the brother's mic. Yes, carry on, brother. Hello, uh, good evening. My name is Sivam. I'm from Malaysia. I'm actually uh, been all over the world to do the best to get the most uh, peaceful mind for all over the brothers. Okay, I have a company in Malaysia which have all the people working with me, including Africans, Pakistanis, Bangladesh, Thailand, and a few other countries. Oh, what I find here, I would like to talk, I will be very pleased to, uh, and thanks to you all to give me opportunity as a last talk. I was following up this for many, around eight years, you know. So why am I disappointed here now? When you talk about the peace, it should not come from only the word. It should be come from the activities. Okay? The major things going on in the world is not in the way of peace. You must understand the most peaceful language is come from love. What is going on in the Middle East now? It's politics. I just now don't want to voice out because the politician is here. I don't want to see any politician because the politician, the world become crashed. Okay? I want to soon and hang because you know why, you know? Yeah, so my question here is very, very clear. You cannot deny it. If you do the good thing and the best thing, even I giving the best thing to my staff, it's from all over the world. I'm taking them as my own family. Then when I die, he said, I didn't carry the good things. I didn't go to the correct place. Who went to the heaven and come back and tell that I never been the whole place? Brother, Please, brother, what's you your see, question? You brother, brother, this is a question answer time. Yeah. What is your question? You already My given question a question. is very clear. Yes, I was looking into the question that people putting on you. I'm very clear. It's all a basic question. I'm asking the floor. 80% or 90% of you, don't you understand what you say? You all should know very well. It's written in the Quran. Everybody should know. You watch what I'm explaining now, just now, it's all a basic, which I know. I have a lot of brothers working with me. Question. My question is, you cannot deny a person, if it is, I'm a respect all the religious, Hindu, you know, Amazon, some of them, you know what's the meaning of that? We respect all the religious. I'm a vegetarian. I don't eat fish, I don't eat chicken, I don't eat anything. Okay? I got three children, I even touch my hand with my wife, you know. That's why you told me Hindu can marry more wife. I ever, never, never, even my wife die, I die. It's something like that. Brother has asked a question. Brother, yeah. brother, I've understood your question. You have given a short speech. Yeah, yeah. This is a question answer time. You're talking about yeah. practice and you're breaking the rules. Yeah, the rule question, I got. You, you give me a clear answer. If you are a non Muslim, if they do a lot of good things, even I pay for the masjid or what, I've done everything for church and all. You are, tell, you are telling me that. I don't get the correct message to go to the correct place? Brother asked the question that if a non-Muslim gives charity, etc. And he said that, will you go to the correct place? Your question is everything garbled. You have to ask simple questions. You have given short, short speeches. That you should not read book, you should practice Middle East, you have family. You said so many words, but there was no clear-cut question. A question should have a question mark in the no, ending. What I'm trying to say is very simple. Can, can you give me the answer? If non-Muslim, good things, even, even give our life to Muslim, we didn't do the best for you all even when I die. Many people say it's very pity if you're not Muslim. Is this correct answer? Brother is asking that if a non-Muslim does good things like he has given charity, so when he dies, will he go to heaven or hell? That's what I understand. Brother, the answer I already gave earlier. When you sit for an examination, like when I sat for my 10th standard ICSC, there were six subjects I had to pass. Science, English, Hindi, History, Geography. I had to pass. If I get 100 out of 100 in five subjects, and one subject, Science, I get 10 out of 100, will I pass? I will fail. So similarly, the criteria to go to Jannah, to go to Paradise, is you should have faith, number one, Righteous deeds, exhort people to truth, exhort people to patient perseverance. You may be a righteous person, you may be giving charity, etc. But if you don't have faith, if you don't believe in the one true God, if you don't worship the true God, you fail the test. So for you to pass, you have to pass in all the four criteria. Iman, that is have faith, believe in one true God, 
should not do idol worship, should not believe in false gods. Number two, righteous deed. Number three, exhorting people to truth, that is Dawa. Number four, exhorting people to patience and perseverance. So you, if you do not believe in the one true God and do not worship Him alone, associate partners with Him, under no circumstances in the next life will you pass, you will fail. Hope that answers the question. Hope you that. Thank you. Let me tell you about my happiness I get my happiness from Islam It makes me kind and a better human Yeah, 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 yeah Because I'm happy I'm a Muslim, that's what makes me happy And that's the truth Thank you can we have the next question from the brother? Hallelujah. Uh, I can ask for some question with you before I thankful Dr. Uh, Tun Mathir because very nice uh, uh, opening the program. And uh, also uh, my High Commission Pakistan is here. And uh, also I very respected. Uh, I am from Pakistan, Christian. My name is Yusuf Masih. And uh, I want to talk with you Hindi and own language. क्या ना नहीं आप दोनों में अगर हिंदी बात करें तो बेहतर हो जाएगा सर आई कैन अंडरस्टैंड हिंदी बट ऑल दिस ऑडियंस मेजॉरिटी विल नॉट देर आर वेरी फ्यू पाकिस्तान इन हिंदी इंडिया सो इफ यू कैन स्पीक इंग्लिश स्पीक इन इंग्लिश आई हैव अ लॉट ऑफ क्वेश्चन आस्क वन क्वेश्चन विच इज द मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट आई वॉन्ट टू आस्क विद आवर लैंग्वेज इजी फॉर मी एंड इजी फॉर यू Okay, you you ask in Hindi and because I translate just, into English. Just now one sister asked you some question. You, you ask in Hindi, I will translate in English. Yes, brother. ओके okay. मेरा पहला सवाल ये है कि मैं पाकिस्तान के स्कूलों में पढ़ता रहूं और सलामियात दुनिया सब कुछ पढ़ा मैंने ठीक है वहाँ पर हमारे टीचर थे कारी क्राम साहब तो अभी फोत हो गए खुदा उनको जन्नत सेव करे तो वहाँ किताबों में लिखा है कि नबी मोहम्मद सब नबियों के नूर हैं ठीक है दूसरी तरफ आपने काफ़ी प्रोग्राम आपने देखे हैं मैंने आपने आपके तो आपने हमेशा लफ्स इस्तेमाल किया हसाई हम हसाई नहीं हैं ठीक है बाइबल में आपने पढ़ा होगा बाइबल में आपको लफ्ज़ असाई कभी नहीं मिलेगा ठीक है ये आपने नाम दिया है दूसरा आप देखें जलाली किस नबी की पदैश जो जलाली है भाई साहब कोऑर्डिनेटर ने कहा कि सवाल दो या तीन सेंटेंसेस में करो उससे ज़्यादा करेंगे तो स्पीच हो जाएगा आपका सवाल क्या आप सवाल कीजिए मैं जवाब दूंगा दो या तीन सेंटेंसेज में आप सवाल कीजिए और मैं भी आपकी तरफ बढ़ना चाहता हूँ ना <laughs> तो आप क्या कीजिए हॉल हायर करो और पेपर में इश्तिहार दो क्या मैं तकरीर करने वाला हूँ जो आने के आएंगा वही ना इस... तो आज आपकी तकरीर सुनने के लिए लोग ने हैं तो ये सवाल जवाब का सेशन है आप सवाल पीछे दो या तीन सेंटेंसेस में बस आप ये बता दें इन दोनों नबियों में जलाली पदैश दोनों में किसकी थी कौन से दो नबी में से नबी मोहम्मद और यसु अलमसी में क्वेश्चन क्या बिटवीन मोहम्मद सल्लाम एंड बिटवीन जीजस क्या स्पीच बेपॉन Who was Mo? Jalali can be translated into Jalali. Ka apko ye bolo. Who is better? No, glory ka le. Glorious. Jalali po dash kya sakti hai ab? Better nahi. Aap dono mein ye batae ki dono mein se sab ki makadash dono mein se makadash po dash kis ki hai? Whether well, asking a question that who was born better? Makadash po dash means who was born more pure? He is a Christian. He is asking a question, trying to lead me. And this Christian missionary normally do. What he is asking, who was born more pure, indicating that Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was born naturally. He had a mother and father. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, had a mother but no father. So normally Christian missionaries ask this question, which is beating around the bush and then asking that Prophet Muhammad had a mother and father. Prophet Jesus had a mother but no father. So who's greater? Who's greater? The reply to this is given in the Quran in Surah Al Imran, chapter three, verse fifteen, and we say, "In the masala Isa, in the Allahi ka masala Adam. Khala ka min turab, summa kala lo kun fa kun." The similitude of Jesus in the sight of Allah is the same as Adam, peace be upon him. He was created from dust. And said, "Be and it was." If he wants to say that Jesus Christ is superior, he is God because he was born without a father. Then Adam, peace be upon him, is greater God. He had no mother and no father. 
नो 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 आदम को खुदा ने बनाया था भाई साहब अपने सवाल पूछे मेरा जवाब सुनो अभी मैं जवाब खत्म नहीं हुआ आपको लेक्चर देने का तो हॉल आयर को इश्तेहार दो ये लेक्चर का टाइम नहीं सवाल जवाब का टाइम है आप मेरा जवाब सुनिए इफ दे से दैट जीजस इज गॉड बिकॉज ही हैड गॉड नो फादर देन एडम पीस बी अपॉन हिम इज ग्रेटर गॉड अकॉर्डिंग टू द बाइबल एंड द कुरान बिकॉज ही हैड नो मदर नो फादर सो द रीजन इज दैट almighty god is the creator he can create in different ways normal human being to born you require mother and father but almighty god even can create without mother and father that is adam peace be upon him he can create with mother without a father that is isa alaihi salam with a man and without a female is bibi hawa allah subhanahu wa taala is the creator so just because jesus can peace be upon him has no father that does not make him god If that is the case, then Adam peace be upon him is greater. God with Christians will never agree. So this is what Quran says. When you talk with the people, non-Muslim, Taala villa kalimatin sawa im bain apna bainakum. Come to common terms as between us and you. So this is how Christian missionaries they try and catch fish. They try and catch fish. They try and trap the Muslims by quoting from the Quran. And the Muslims who don't know comparative religion, they get trapped. If you hear my lecture, deceit in Christian evangelism, deceit in Christian evangelism. How do they deceive the people with false things? And the trap is a full lecture of mine that will give you how the Christian missionary try and catch fish. What we believe, we should not deceive anyone. We believe in hak. As I said in my talk, wa kul jal hak wa zakal baatil. In the path of the Quran, Zawka. When truth is heard again, falsehood, falsehood perishes. For falsehood is by its nature bound to perish. What Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said, I want to tell you, brother. In the Gospel of John, chapter number 16, verse number 12 to 14, I have many things to say unto you, but he cannot bear them now. For he, when the Spirit of truth shall come, he shall guide you unto all truth. He shall not speak of himself. All that he shall speak. So what we realize, your Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, spoke about the last and final messenger to come. And his name is Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him.